the entrepreneurial mindset. What does that even mean, right? So you get, you guys, today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the entrepreneurial mindset and what that means to me, right? Because every single person is different and what they think it is and what it means to them. Now, why is it important to have an entrepreneurial mindset if you're an entrepreneur, right? Well, I think the reason being is that because as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, always you're going to have problems. Always you're going to have things pop up and always you're going to have to find opportunities and you're going to have to problem solve. Now, if I was to basically wipe the slate clean, that's exactly what I think the entrepreneurial mindset is to me is number one, is how do you overcome adversity? Number two, how do you put yourself in a state to always solve problems? And number three, how do you look for opportunities? So really, that's why it's so, so important to have an entrepreneurial mindset because if you think about it, every day that you wake up, people are relying on you for answers. People are relying on you for results. People are relying on you to solve their problems for them let alone the problems that you have in your own business, right? You've got to go out there and solve other people's problems. So really what that looks like, I think, is by having a resilience. And there's a big difference, I think, in the level of perseverance and persistence, right? Persistence wanes. Perseverance, like I always liken it to Thomas, the, no, the little, I was going to say Thomas the tank engine, but the little engine that could, right? That's going up the hill, that thinks it can, it thinks it can, right? So if you persist, you'll probably fail at some point on there. But if you persevere, it's a much more enduring term. It's a much more, I think, uh, good way to approach how you look at problems, how you look at overcoming them, and how you look at finding solutions. Because if you can persevere, that lasts. Persistence can wane off and can drop off. Now, there's good and bad parts about having that. So I don't know if any of you have watched the recent Netflix documentary, The Fire Festival, and you look at their ability and their entrepreneurial mindset, that's not really being an entrepreneur, that's being what we call a scammer, right? That's being a fraud and lying to people. That's not what it's about. There was a, one line in there which was great, which they said, um, we're not a problems-based company, we're a solutions-based company, right? If the problem is the entire of the company, there's probably a big problem there, right? That should be addressed and that should be looked at. But that's just one example. So if you watch that and you can take away from that a few good positives, but many, many negatives on what they did. But on the positive side, they did always look for solutions. Right, because you have to be able to do that. You have to be nimble, you have to be quick, you have to be able to make those changes and adjustments on the go as you move, right? You have to be able to do that as an entrepreneur and as a business owner, but not necessarily does it always mean doing that, right? Because sometimes you have to know when to pull up stumps, when to take off, because there is going to be problems that happen. Sometimes it's not in the best interest to keep going forward. It's not in your best interest to keep doing something, right? They say, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're gonna get what you've always got. If you keep getting problems and you keep doing the same thing, you probably should change what you're doing, right? You should pivot and adjust that. That's really why the entrepreneurial mindset is important. And that's really what I perceive it to be in my eyes anyway, right? In my brain, that's what I look at it. And now guys, in just a moment, we're gonna take off and I'm gonna show you how to create that, how and give you a couple of activities that you can do to really start to develop your entrepreneurial mindset around problem solving, about overcoming problems and really facing adversity and how you can make sure that you always persevere. All right, so let's head off. All right, guys, so we've covered why it really matters that you should have an entrepreneurial mindset and you know, really what it looks like to me. Now, how can you go about developing it? How can you go about ensuring that on an ongoing basis, you are honing that muscle, that muscle memory to ensure that you consistently develop that and you can build it over time? Well, number one, the reason why we are where we are right now is because you need to get out of your comfort zone, which includes working at home, which includes working in the office. Get into spaces that inspire and they spark creativity. We can go out and start to think differently. You know, you'll be surprised how often when you take your head out of your computer, when you take your head out of your books and you go out and you actually experience life and you're moving around, how much your brain starts to think differently. And also put yourself in situations where your brain has to be stretched, your mind has to be stretched, not only of what's possible, but also what solutions you can come up with. You know, there's an old adage, which is if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Put yourself into places where other people need to be able to stretch you. Other people can really enhance you and enhance the way that you think. Now, how can you do that by, I know it's cool to say, but how can you actually go about doing that? 
One thing you can do, which I learned from a guy called James Altucher, which is absolutely great, he's got a ton of amazing books. What you can actually do is every single day, what I had to do was I had to write down four new creative ideas. Four new ideas for either content pieces, for either inventions, for add-ons to something else, add-on something else that's been created out there in the marketplace and every day do four brand new ones of those. So I went, out, I went out there and did that and I did that for six months straight. So every day what it conditions me to do is to identify opportunities, is to identify what things that you can look at and then can actually create something new. So when someone comes to you with a problem, you can start to think differently, right? And you also want to ensure that as much as possible, you can test your problem solving ability. Literally find and look at and discover problems. Right? If you want to be known as a problem solver, then that is going to be tremendously amazing for you because every day you have to solve problems in your business, in, in other areas, all these different sorts of things. Now the next, but the most important thing is if you have an entrepreneurial mindset, you need to know which problem to solve first. Because if you're anything like any other sort of entrepreneur, any other sort of business owner, you're going to have a ton of problems come up all the time. So how do you identify it, right? Well, the thing that I highly, highly recommend you to understand and to learn and to develop is, un is what a process is called the theory of constraints. Now, the theory of constraints says that at any one point in time, and I always like, and I like to simplify things, imagine you've got a garden hose. At any one point in time, yes, you may have many kinks in your garden hose, but only one is stopping the water from running. Right, I'll say that again, only one of those kinks is stopping the water from running right now. So yes, you may have 50 problems, but only one is stopping you from moving forward in your business. So what you want to identify and what you want to do is get the understanding of and the process of identifying that one kink. Because then as you go through that process, you can consistently understand, you can consistently overcome, you can consistently develop them, and you can consistently ensure that you start to solve problems. So guys, a nice, short, easy one for you today. And I hope you've understood now why I think you need an entrepreneurial mindset, what that means to me and how you can go out there and make that happen for yourself. So as always, make sure that you go and like our channel, like this video. Let us know if you enjoyed it. Comment below, tell us what you thought and please subscribe and ensure that you get these videos first before anyone else. Until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. You've all been awesome. See you soon.